All right, hi everyone. Today we're going to do some how to draw Little Miss characters. This was a children's book created by Roger Hargreaves. You know, I'm going to tag some stuff in this video so you guys can get a better understanding. There's really tons of characters that he created um, in his original style. But there's like this meme trend going around right now. It was created by Jewel Puppy on Instagram. Um... Here's the originator of the art. He has a children's book. Really cool work. Tons of characters, guys. I love his work. I didn't. I never knew about this guy. So check out his website. Um, it was this meme was created by Jewel Puppy on Instagram. It's where you just take you know the characters and you put like identities behind them or personalities like this one, Little Miss Energy, and you could just literally just draw. Um, it's like doodle art character, and then the meme is you know. So the meme is giving these doodles like personality. Like I was thinking about doing one today, but with my characters, you know, um, I know a lot of people, um, I've already been getting requests for this. this is how I found out about it. Hey, can you draw some little miss characters? And they're really easy to do. This is what I'm going to be doing in this video, showing you guys how to draw them with Posca markers. You could use regular markers, anything, but I like Posca. This is what I use. And you can literally just take a triangle, a square, a circle, anything, right? I'm going to be drawing some of the original characters from the artist. Um, but right now with the memes, a lot of people just go, you know, to the site. They screenshot the artwork and then, you know, they put it in um, a photo editing app. And then they, they put like the font where it says Little Miss, um, like the creator of this meme I guess trend, she had put Little Miss uncredited creator of the meme format, right? It's just like whatever. So I can literally just draw um grass, like a grass character, and then put um Little Miss no one picks up their dog poop. You know, something something just that's what it is, the meme, right? It's like just random stuff. But being different. So I'm I'm looking at it, you know, being me being, you know, original and being a creator. I realized like some of these things are cool, but I, you have to get you have to go outside the box to create a really cool meme. So I was thinking about literally like um drawing these characters, cutting them out, and then putting them in situation situations and like evolving the meme. So I might do that. Um and I'm hoping anybody that's watching this video does that as well. You know, it just so we can all connect. You know, that's what this meme is. You know, Jewel Puppy, I think that's how you say G-U-U-L Puppy created it, but now it's time to evolve. Like, memes, like, no one is like, oh, I created this. I, you know, I need to, um, you know, get paid for it now. It's just for fun. But, you know, now we got to evolve it now. So I'm just showing people how to draw them because if we're going to be doing these, like, real life memes where you're taking them with you everywhere... You have to really be, be willing to know how to draw. And they're really simple to draw. This is doodle art. It doesn't even have to look perfect. As you can see, I'm just running through this video. I'm not making these things look perfect. I could, you know, I could spend, you know, um, you know, 10 minutes on each and every one of these and make the hands look really nice in the feet. But it's not, it's not, it's not about that. But I could literally take these, which what I plan on doing, cutting them out. Well, not, not this not this specific drawing that I'm doing right now. This is me just showing you guys how to draw these real simple. Um, you can do the outline first and then color it in. But since I use Posca and the colors tend to mix with the black, I'm doing the, the inside color first. And then I just hit it with the, with the black bowl at the end. But I'm thinking about, yeah, just making one like like my daughter. She doesn't like to clean her room. So I'm thinking of drawing like a, a circle. Um with my daughter's hairstyle and you know pink and with and just saying miss little doesn't like to clean her room you know and then just put it in her room but a cutout of my drawing and i don't know if i'm going to be doing that with um these kind of characters or using my original characters which i'll show at the end of this video i'm gonna take one of my original characters and just make it um into this kind of style and i just think it's fun because I was on um, Instagram last night and then I was just looking at people creating like their own versions of the Little Miss. And they have Mr. I think Mr. Mr. or something like that. Go to their web. Go to the website, guys. Um, yeah, it's Mr. Men. And then they have like Mr. Men. I like Mr. Men likes to work out all day. And it has like one of the little characters holding a dumbbell. 
so yeah it's just about having fun I, I like this meme is you know these nice cute little characters and you can just literally anybody can do it this is basically doodle art um and the original creator roger hargreaves um i think he created this in 1935 and into 1957 he started working as a copywriter in advertising he became successful in that you know um he done he he wrote successful copywriting for you know chocolate companies it's a car companies um you know so check out the website it has all like the information on there they even have some stuff with um the Spice Girls, other artists recreating his work. He's done stuff for Google, uh, Google Anniversary. Um, it's really cool stuff. I really like his characters. Real simple, but they, they're, it's a culture. I've never known about this, but goes to show how long your, your work can travel. I don't know if he's, um, I don't know if he's still alive. He might be, but this is why I say, guys. Never stop creating art. Just keep creating art because you don't know when your time is going to come. You could literally um, become an overnight success anytime. Right? You can literally be painting all your characters right now. And then 20 years from now, um, your day comes. You know, So never give up. I'm not saying that his work wasn't successful. His work was. But I mean, like now it's it's something else. And he probably would have never thought that. So right now I'm taking another character. I'm going to do... I don't know what this is. It's like a girl with blonde hair. I should have colored the hair first blonde and then the orange because I had an overlap in this video. And then it bled through. It didn't look so good. But yeah, these characters are really simple to do. Um, I actually enjoyed doing these. I was for two hours doing these. Um, made this video so we can get some exposure on it. I haven't seen any videos on YouTube. I'm um, talking about Little Miss um, and the trend. So I decided, you know, let me make my video, um, draw some of these characters because it's something the kids can do, you know, something that the kids can do, have fun, bring this gentleman's um, work to light. Maybe, you know, his kids are out there. I know he has kids, a photo on his website saying that he was once married with young children. He wished he could spend more time with the family. Roger had a dream to write and illustrate books for children, you know? So this is his legacy, you know? And if his kids are out there, it'd be really cool for um, his kids to see all this, right? How his work is being recognized even to this day. That's really what it's about. The meme is cool. You know, there's one here that says Little Miss Bossy, and it's a it's a character with the mouth open. So, you know, it's like cute little things. You know, you guys have fun with this. Um, so if you're going to guys going to be making these characters, I mean, you can make up your own. They're real simple. The style here is the hands and the feet. So all you got to do is take from you the style of hands and feet, and you could put your, your own face if you, if you want. At the end of this video, also do a star with anime face like i changed it up i kept the traditional his traditional feet and hand style but i did a star with anime anime features um so you can do anything you can mix different styles here just i i feel like it's cool and all to do the meme thing and then you know screenshot and then put a little meaning on top you know with the font but if you're really out here recreating your own versions of it i think that that that'd be really cool and that's what I'm going to be doing towards the end of this video. So, so stick stick with me, guys. Um, and as you can see, it's real easy to do these. Now I'm coming in with the black. So I can finish up the outline here. Doing the eyes. I think these are like... I don't know what they are. They're not ears. Maybe they're like the side of the eyes. I don't know. They just give... I feel like just with the dots, it's... It doesn't have any life. I feel like once I added those things, they have life. So the the creator of this character knew what he was doing. Just that small little touch gives the character life. Coming in here, doing the hands, doing the side of the face. The hands are real simple. You know, nothing too hard. Anybody can really do this. I'm doing the top of the ponytail, doing the bow, circles, I'm 
So here the hair, you can see I have some yellow, some orange bleeding through the yellow just because it was mixing. And I didn't want to um, keep going with it because they're just doodles. It's about having fun, even though I came back and tried to correct it. That's just my habit. You guys, as you guys know, watch my videos. I like attention to detail. So um, even if it's just a little simple doodle, um, I have that habit of going back and correcting things. So, you know, you have the good habits when even the the doodles that you're going to put away somewhere, um, you're trying to put attention on them. So here I'm coming and I'm going to do a whole yellow character. And this one's really simple. It has pigtails. Um, this is another original character of the creator. And then the feet come in a different angle on this one. Here I go doing the hair. Just circles. Because I'm going to end up coloring this in. The reason why I do it with the yellow instead of the black is because... Um, the Posca marker, for some reason, the yellows, the light colors, they bleed through the black. Like they wet the black up again and it starts to smear. And um, then I have to come back and then like try to touch up. So I'm just doing it right now with um, my main base color. And then I'll just fill it in with the yellow. So I'm going to speed this one up now. I don't want to make this video too long. I think you guys are getting um, the point. Um, it's not really too hard to do these characters. Just have fun with them. Coming in here with the outline now. Filling it in. Um, if you draw with the Poscas, I recommend drawing a little larger than this. Because um, I did it and I found it difficult with the broad marker. Unless you got the fine point. But I don't have the fine point. So so here I'm doing a uh, star. Just something really quick. I just you know, Let me just do a star with the same features. The hand features and the feet features. But I'm doing... Um, the face, I'm not doing the traditional style of the artist. I'm doing like an anime style, as you're going to see. I'm going to do a different eye design. So I'm putting on the same kind of style hands to stay true to the form of the little miss. But I just do different facial features. But it still has that same kind of flow. See, guys, you could really make up your own characters. If you want to use the original creators, you could, right? Just show love to him. Make sure he's known. Spread his website. But you should make your own. You know, like as you can see right here, I'm taking my original character. You see with my tongue sticking out. And then I'm just drawing a circle, but I'm drawing like the same feature hands and the feet. And I'm gonna draw a hat on it. And um you could yeah, I, I could just sit here all day and just draw these things over and over and over and over. You can just use so many different shapes, different color variations, different hairstyle, different facial features. So, yeah, it's something fun for the kids. So, if you're an adult and you want to do something with your kids this weekend, doodle art, here you go. So, this one's going to be done. And um, I wanted to speed up the video. I didn't want to make it too long. And then after this one, I'm going to do just a small doodle art of a, of a heart. Real simple. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you got something from it. I'm spreading awareness of the, of the meme. I don't really spread, you know, I guess awareness of memes, but I like this one. This is something for anybody can do this. This is something that can bring people together. We can make positive, you know, memes with these small, simple, cute designs. Here's the heart. Real simple. Something really fast. You know, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys.